a former priest has revealed he was paid £30,000 to murder an anti-Putin Russian journalist in a case that shocked the world The death of Arkady Babchenko in Ukraine caused a sensation in May when it was revealed the assassination had been faked It was staged to get more information about a mysterious group paying hitmen to kill both him and a number of other people Now, Alexei Yitzhak a former monk and orthodox priest, has spoken about how he was approached by an old contact and asked to carry out the murder in the reporter's home Tsimbaliuk told BBC's Panorama that killing a person is not difficult at all but that he decided to tip off the SBU, Ukraine's intelligence service Share this article share he the contact told me that there was a hit list, he explained And that there were people willing to finance this being carried out and would I be interested in the job I of course agreed. When asked if he planned to go through with it, he said, well of course not Whether you agree or not doesn't matter. If you refuse a request like this, you probably end up dead The former monk then told the intelligence services, who told him they wanted to let the plot unfold to try to trap the perpetrators Vassal Ritzak, the head of the SBU, told the program, we were told there were several units in Ukraine and that this assassination is just a test run for others Only by staging this crime could we get the list of targets The operation saw a makeup artist called in and pig's blood used to make the crime scene look realistic The fake assassin then made his entry. Mr. Babchenko was reported to have been shot three times in the back in the stairwell of his apartment block in Kiev. A photograph of his body was then released to the world's media. Shortly after, the priest was rigged up with a secret camera to go to a meeting and collect his money. Speaking of the moment he saw the fake murder scene, Tsimbaliuk said, everything looked very real, the makeup people did a great job Mr. Babchenko defended the tactics used by Ukraine's security services, saying, at first I just wanted to grab my family and flee, but then it became clear to me, why should we run? We have work to do The SBU said, when they arrested Boris Herman, the man who hired the former monk, they found a hit list, part of a raft of evidence they argue proves Russia's security services were ultimately behind the plot Russia has denied Ukraine's ridiculous allegations. The fake murder that fooled the world is on BBC One at 8 30 p.m. tonight